Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met with the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, at His Majesty's residence in Abu Dhabi. His Majesty the King and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed exchanged friendly and brotherly talks which reflect the depth of relations between Bahrain and the UAE and their leaders wishing the two countries continued progress and prosperity. His Highness conveyed the greetings of the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, to His Majesty the King and his wishes of abundant health and happiness to His Majesty and continued development and prosperity to the Kingdom. His Majesty and His Highness discussed joint cooperation and coordination between Bahrain and the UAE and means to support and bolster them at all fields to enhance sustainable development efforts and contribute to achieving the aspirations of their peoples and their common interests based on the strong brotherly ties that unite the two countries and their belief in common destiny. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa returned to Bahrain today after a visit to the UAE in which he met with the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan where the historic fraternal relations between the two countries and the means to bolster them at all levels were discussed. His Royal Highness the Deputy King, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawziya bint Abdullah Zain Al Atrafa Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the ongoing cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities and commended, it commented that this success should be replicated across government sectors to aid Bahrain's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness commended the legislative and executive authorities for coordinating to advance Bahrain's development. He highlighted the importance of strengthening efforts to achieve the Kingdom's development goals. For her part, Zainal expressed her appreciation of His Royal Highness's commitment to enhance cooperation between the two authorities. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs on the occasion of Bahrain's national MMA team winning the title of the first MMA Super Cup. The championship was held as part of Brave International Combat Week in cooperation with the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation and KHK Sports Organization. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in this national achievement and hailed the advanced level of Bahrain MMA. He added that this achievement is a great motivation to continue making more successes to be added to the kingdom's rich sports record. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated General Sports Authority Vice President and Bahrain Martial Arts Council Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the council members, as well as Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation President and members on the occasion. His, His Highness expressed appreciation for the Federation's efforts of providing the optimal atmosphere to prepare for this participation, wishing the other team success in future your participations.
The Shura Council held its weekly session presided over by its chairman, Ali Al Saleh. The council approved decree by law 25 of 2021 on amending a number of provisions of Law 10 of 2006 regarding the tasks and functions of the National Oil and Gas Authority. The council approved decree by law 22 of 2021 on issuing the execution law in civil and commercial matters. A draft law on adding a new article to the penalties law was also approved. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Mutawa, attended the ceremony honoring the winners of the Arab Government Excellence Award, first cycle, organized by the Arab League's Arab Administrative Development Organization in, or in cooperation with Bahrain Institute of Public Administration, BIPA. Al Mutawa affirmed that the five Bahraini governmental institutions winning of the Arab Government Excellence Award reflects the unified government work that is in line with the vision of His Majesty the King and the proactive view of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister, which aims to continue to work based on a government outlook based on innovation and excellence. Al Mutawa stated that the Arab Government Excellence Award reflects the institutional mobility and the Arab government vision, which was able to chart a clear path toward global competitiveness by employing innovation and creativity as basic features of institutional work and developing strategies, mechanisms, and projects that keep pace with current and future requirements and contribute to the foresight of a promising future for Arab society. The Director General of BIPA, Dr. Ra'id Mohammed bin Shams, stated that the Arab Government Excellence Award is an Arab honoring of leaders and effective government agencies that have distinguished themselves in serving citizens. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, along with a group of leaders and politicians from around the world, yesterday participated in the second session of the Anatolia Diplomacy Forum held in Turkey under the patronage of Turkish President Najib Tayyip Erdogan and at the invitation of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mevlut Çavuşoğlu, Dr. Al Zayani participated in the dialogue session entitled Diplomacy and Combating Terrorism where he delivered a speech in which he stressed the need to combat terrorism in all its forms and called for concerted international efforts to face all threats. In this regard, he condemned the terrorist Houthi militia and its attacks with ballistic missiles and drones on civil facilities and infrastructure in both Saudi Arabia and the UAE. On a larger scale, he noted that Iran and its proxies in the region continue to spread insecurity, division and violence throughout the Middle East, clearly by providing terrorist organizations with weapons, ammunition, detonators and explosives, which of which have been seized in Bahrain. He added that the danger and threat of the terrorist organization ISIS has not receded despite its loss of ter territories, affirming that it can still inspire others to carry out terrorist operations around the world. Dr. Al Zayani affirmed that Bahrain, in accordance with the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, pursues a foreign political approach based on consolidating peace, human rights, and sustainable development, and seeks to address regional challenges through understanding communication and constructive dialogue to achieve long term security, stability, and prosperity for the Middle East and its people. He added that Bahrain's signing of the historic Abraham Accords with the UAE and Israel in 2022 represents an effective step that will help address the root causes of the Palestinian cause, which along with other regional crises, have led to sowing the seeds of terrorism and extremism. He stressed, that this, he stressed that this historic development proves beyond any doubt that Bahrain is committed to cooperation instead of confrontation and dialogue instead of conflict. Dr. Al Zayani also stressed the need to resolve the Palestinian Israeli conflict through direct negotiations between the two sides, leading to a political st settlement that leads to the establishment of a Palestinian state in accordance with the two state solution and the resolutions of international litigium. The Minister of Foreign Affairs stressed that Bahrain will remain keen to work in all these areas in cooperation with international partners in order to achieve prosperity and peace in the world as a whole. Bahrain's ambassador to the U.S. and the founder of the program to combat, combat violence and addiction together in Bahrain, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, participated in the quarterly board of directors meeting of the International Organization for Combating Violence and Addiction. He affirmed that the Together program is one of the symbols of the civilized and humane approach led by His Majesty the King and with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. 
The ambassador stressed that the program was able within a few years to achieve a qualitative leap in the kingdom's march and its pioneering role in combating extremism and peaceful coexistence and reviewing development plans and modernization procedures in the program. Since its launch by the Minister of Interior in 2010 to promote the awareness and education approach as a modern means to combat violence and addiction and to confirm the role of the community service police in protection and constructive community partnership. The ambassador expressed pride in the program's achievements over the past 11 years in enhancing a sound security environment, stating that the development mechanisms used in the program to combat violence and addiction do not stop at a specific stage, but move forward according to the variables and challenges presented. The Ministry of Housing affirmed that its plan to vacate the old temporary apartments in order to establish the residential building strip project is accelerating during the current period with a remarkable progress to speed up the pace of evacuation and demolition. The Ministry stated that the project to establish a strip of residential buildings is based on the construction of 6,750 ownership apartments in housing complexes with complete facilities and services and the using the new generation of residential buildings designs in the sites of temporary apartment buildings in various governorates of the kingdom. The ministry also stressed that this project will ensure that thousands of housing requests are met by beneficiaries and will have a modern architectural character. It noted that the number of buildings in the specific locations of the building strip in various governorates is 250, containing 1,884 apartments all of which are currently desi designated for temporary housing services. And it is scheduled that those sites will be re-exploited and built in accordance with the requirements and modern standards approved internationally. The ministry noted that these efforts are consistent with the growing demand for the ownership of apartments that the ministry dedicated recently. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain strongly condemns and denounces the missile attack on the city of Erbil in Kurdistan region of Iraq as a number of missiles targeted the Consulate, Consulate General of the United States in the city and damaged the headquarters of Kurdistan 24 TV channel in a cowardly terrorist attack that represents a flagrant violation of international law and clearly targets the security, safety and stability of Iraq. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs affair affirms Bahrain's full support for Iraq and all the measures it takes to maintain its security and territorial integrity. It also stresses its firm stance in rejecting violence and terrorism in all its forms, calling on the international community to condemn such acts that aim to destabilize the region and its people.